And sadly, using people's good, you know, the problem is most people are actually believe most things that people tell them. That's why so many people can get scammed and all that. It's sad, but they've actually been trained that way by the system, the government schools and all that. Never taught how to detect a fraud. <laughs> you're, t you're just told to sit there for eight hours a day and memorize useless, wrong history about what the government did. Mental hospital. Yeah, as I've said, doctors, 95% plus are complete brain dead morons. That's why they get such good grades in school. They can memorize, but they can't think. And they believe most of this stuff. And in their books, when they come in, like that 12 year old girl and she can't breathe and uh, she's like paralyzed. My first question would be like, has she taken the jab? And then when they go, yes, I'd go, yeah, that's probably what it is. But the doctors look into their books written by the pharmaceutical industrial complex and it says, no, maybe she's crazy. Yeah, that's the biggest fraud of all time. And you know, some people might wonder like, what kind of coroner would do that? Or what kind of doctor would do that? A lot of people, they're just NPC robots. They're brainwashed, mind-controlled slaves. And they also want more money. That's why they say the love of money is the root of all evil. So you have these people just like increasing the numbers so they can get paid. And what they're gonna do is create a much larger police state because all of a sudden the numbers have increased, right?